Hey, what's up you guys? Custom made graphics here. Uh, I'm going to be giving you guys a quick tutorial on how to do a lens flare text reveal in your um, After Effects intros or intros, whatever. And um, first of all, I want to point out this mistake, which nobody has really noticed yet. But um, if you look at the intro I uploaded yesterday, I know the render quality isn't very great. I need to work on that. But um, when the text does reveal itself, you'll see that it says www.youtube.com mystic magics i mean it says www.youtube.mysticmagics i missed out the dot com <laughs> and it's meant to be dot com slash mystic magic so my bad there that's why i'm going to redo this now so i thought why not um why not make a tutorial whilst i do it so here we go <coughs> the first thing you want to do really is um you'll see most people when they do this is they like to fade out their intro slightly like not fade it out but just make it a bit blurry so we're gonna find a point in the timeline where we want to um, blur it out so I'd say around six seconds would do so if you go to layer new and adjustment layer and then if you go to effect um, blur and sharpen and then if you just go to fast blur you'll see up here now you've got um, a little blurriness tab with the stopwatch next to it if you go and click on the stopwatch drag your um, thing I don't know what it's called your pointer what it have a name can we see it it's the current the time indicator I don't know what that's called oh well, but it's the thing uh, drag your thing along slightly and then bring your blurriness up I usually like to use um, 35 it doesn't take it too much away you can still make out the background but you can obviously tell it's blurred so now you'll see that that um, blurs out as part of the intro and then what we want to do is we want to add our text so we're gonna go choose our font hmm I think I'm gonna go with bank gothic I know it's a pretty hard out font but I do like this font I've been using it for so long now so www.youtube.com slash mystic Magics. There we go. Now we're just gonna resize this so it fits. Cause it's too big to fit in my bum hole. It's not actually. No, not that I've got a big bum hole. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna stop right there. I think. And um, now what I want to do is I just want to decide on a nice color for the text. Um, I think I might just leave it white to be honest. It looks fine to me. Okay, so the next thing you want to do is go to effects and presets. Um, if you click the drop down arrow for animation presets, then if you go down to text, animate in, and then if you go to decoder fade in or decoder and just drag it onto your text, that allows your text to start decoding inwards. Now, you might have the problem like I've just got where when you get to the end of the timeline your text still hasn't finished so to uh, solve this what you want to do is go to composition composition settings and just knock up the duration slightly we'll, be, we'll move it back in a minute but if we now scroll across hit the drop down layer or drop down arrow on our text layer go into text go to animator 1 click on range click on the drop down for range selector and then you'll find it just drag it back down get down there you cracker and that's that so now we can go and put all these back make it nice and neat bring our composition back down to 10 seconds or wherever it was previously and we're cool yeah okay so the next thing we wanted to do is we want to make our flare so if we go to layer, new and solid, make sure it's black, 1280 by 720 and just click OK. Then go to effect, video copilot and optical flares. Then we're going to go to options and uh, we're just going to click clear all, yes. And then we are going to go over here to custom objects. Uh, add some lens objects, we're going to add some glow, add some streak uh, you might want to change the size of these a bit just bring them down maybe 
and change the colour. So we're going to make this blue, because blue is always a nice colour, not that sort of blue. Oh my god. Uh, that blue will do. Motherfucker. Uh, make this one blue. Okay. So I don't even know what just happened then, but once that's done, you want to go down here where it says render mode. Just go to transparent. And if you drag your cursor along on the timeline, just to the start where the first letter comes in and just move your flare so the center of it is there so if you go down to this crosshair then you can click it so it's direct in the center and then what we're going to do is we're just going to bring it slightly to the left and we're also going to go back slightly on our timeline not much and we're just going to put a keyframe in there by clicking on the stopwatch so now what we're going to do again is we're going to move back up the timeline to the start of our um, text so there it is, and we're just going to bring this along, just so it covers it as it goes over. So now we need to move along on the timeline once again, this time to the end of our text. So magics with the Z, and now if we move that back along, forward to the Z. And now if we go back forward just a little bit more, just, this will just make sure that our lens flare goes all the way across the screen and disappears. So now if we go back over that, you'll see that the flare lets the text reveal behind it and it's a pretty nice effect to reveal the URL of somebody's channel or maybe a slogan or something like that. You can add it to any sort of text and um, it's really nice, it works and yeah. So hopefully you guys find this um, helpful, useful, go ahead and use it. Uh, leave any comments if you think there's anything I could have done to make it maybe a bit better. Um, I'm also looking for some help with my render settings. If any of you guys make intros out there, I'm in desperate need of some help because my render settings are really bad right now. And they never used to be so bad, but since I've reformatted my computer from all the virus and troubles like that, they've just never been really the same and I've not really had the same sort of buzz for making intros. But um, hopefully I can fix that and be back to normal. Uh, sorry for the lack of uploads as well recently. I've had all my coursework due in. And I've got exams next week. I need to start my revision having started. I'm going to fail. And um, thanks for carrying on supporting me. Um, and peace. Yeah, thanks for watching. See you guys later.